Yeah, we back. We out here. Welcome back to another awesome episode of Mr. Donuts' Awesome Map Network. So today begins a series in which we're going to review all the wonderful, awesome math things we've learned since way back in September, right? And we're going to start with Unit 1, which was uh, scale copies. Now, by definition, a scale copy is a copy of a figure where every length in the original figure is multiplied by the same number. Right? So here we have our first shape, we have a little rectangle here, and this rectangle has been given the measurements of two feet by three feet. Now, looking at this off, right off the bat, you can tell that this really isn't two feet by three feet, but we're gonna work with what we have with regards to the whiteboard. And we're going to just remember that math, when, especially when we're learning something and we're working through the thinking process, doesn't have to be super perfect to start with, right? So we're gonna pretend that our first shape has actual measurements of two feet by three feet, right? The next thing we need to know is what is our scale factor? Now the scale factor is the factor in which we're going to actually multiply our original figure by in order to get our new figure. Let's say we have a scale factor of four. Okay. What we are saying here is that all the measurements of the original figure, A, are now going to be multiplied by a factor or scale factor of four. And that is as straightforward, I didn't say simple because everything is different for everybody, is I'm gonna draw my new shape, and it doesn't have to be perfect because this isn't two feet by three feet. Put it here. Because this part, the width of my original is two. I'm gonna multiply that by four. And two times four equals eight. So let's call this new figure, say B. This is gonna have a width of eight feet. The length, the longest side of our rectangle is three feet. No, that means we're going to multiply 3 times 4 and get 12. So now our new length is 12 feet. Okay? Wonderful. Now, suppose we are given a scale factor. They say not 4, but we're given a scale factor of... still going to do the same process of multiplication. But now I'm asking you, I'm wondering, if we're multiplying by a scale factor, what has to be true about our new shape that we're creating, our new figure? What has to be true is that our new figure is going to be smaller than our original figure. So with that knowledge, I'm going to make a slightly smaller rectangle. I'm gonna make a think box. I didn't do that last time, I apologize. Let me make my think box right here. It's gonna show my process. Right. Think box. Thank you. Gonna multiply two times one half. That's gonna give me one. One foot. I'm gonna multiply three times one half. Which is gonna be one and a half feet. My new one. Let's call this figure C since we already used B. Right? One more example. Suppose the scale factor is one. What has to be true? What's going to be true about our new figure? it is going to have the same exact measurements of our original figure. So I'm gonna to try to draw a new one as close to the original as possible. I'm going freehand, it's not gonna be perfect. That's actually pretty good. We're also gonna to call this B. Actually, we use B and we use C, let's use D. Right. Two times one, let's not get lazy, is two. Oh, get lazy, forgot my think box. 
and 3 times 1 plus 3. So the new figure has the same exact measurements of the original figure. Okay, so there you have it. Right? That's our review on scale factor. We'll get a little more in depth in it later on in this week. But just right off the bat, if a scale factor is more than 1, the new figure is going to be bigger than the original. If the scale factor is less than one, fraction, decimal, the new figure is going to be smaller than the original. And last but not least, if the scale factor is one, all the measurements in the new figure will be exactly the same as the original. I'm Mr. Donez. Okay, thanks for tuning in. My class is 705, 706, and 707. This video is going to be posted up in our Google Classroom, along with one question to answer in relationship to it. All right? Miss you guys. Stay safe. We out.